that we have to change the way. It's to change the mindset of all of us on how do we put this together. I think mean, if we take the time between 2015, particularly 2016, to do the hard work of accepting that I have to change the way I do things as an individual, as an institution, as a group, and to accept that change, and use the knowledge, the capacity we have, and of course the drive, because there's a huge momentum now of willingness to do things. But we need to give time to planning and to accept change for all of us. And I think we can. We really have a good chance of achieving this. I love to hear that note of optimism. Helen, yes, I do. Uh, uh, I think this next 15 years, the model has to be hugely more inclusive and hugely more sustainable. Why do I say that? You know, you look at the NDGs, we say that poverty eradication goals achieved. Well, that is only ever to cut the rate in half. There's still over a billion people extremely yeah. poor at the end. Uh, but we have the paradox mm -hmm. that, yes, poverty rates have come down, but inequality is going up. Yeah. So within the countries reducing poverty, some are racing away and others are still, as class has drawn attention to, sitting as though nothing had ever changed in their lives at all. So much more inclusive. The rising tide has to lift every boat. That means poor people uh, going ahead at a faster rate than the others because there's so much to catch up. So very inclusive strategy. Secondly, on sustainability. We know that if you don't look after the ecosystem, you undercut the ability to pursue human development and, and advancement. And the poorest people are most reliant on the health of the ecosystem for their food their crops, their fishing. Uh, so we have to look much more holistically at these challenges. The kind of development that poisons the air, the waters, the land, contributes to climate change. This is taking our world backwards, not forwards. And I, I hope we have that very much in mind too as we move to 2030. Mm. So well, I, I think inclusivity and universality are the two big themes that I think we all think will transform our world between 2015 and 2030. And I think the main thing is, who's, who's the 15-year-old year old of today in 2015 and will be the leader in 2030, but actually is the leader of today? I mean, I, I think it's great we're up here talking about all this, but really this is a challenge for everyone today. And we're not talking about tomorrow's leaders, we're talking about today's leaders. And to paraphrase Gloria Steinman, who was asked one time, is she ready to pass the torch? And she said, I'm going to hold on to my torch, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to use it to light other torches. There you go. Because we need all the torches working to get this done. And so I really do think this is the next generation's great opportunity. I think we've really gotten a, a, a commitment globally to get to 2030 without poverty. And it's just going to take everybody's work and every single country changing the way it works. That's fabulous, Thank you so much.